Hello, my name is Andrew Johnson. I'm an associate professor here at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois at Chicago. And I'm going to talk to you today a bit about the Paris. Uh, the Paris is an augmented reality display that we developed back in 2000 as an augmented version of the kind of displays that we'd been creating since the early 90s. Um, back in 1992, this lab basically revolutionized virtual reality with the cave, a projection-based room. We then made smaller versions in the Immersa desk in 95. But all of these systems had a problem of whenever you know, a person would look at their hands, their hands would occlude the graphics behind them. So the idea behind the Paris was to have the graphics and the person's hands share the same space. The following footage shows Dr. Johnson demonstrating the features of Paris, the personal augmented reality immersive system. Paris is a desktop system virtual reality projection-based display environment with haptics feedback that creates the sensation of touch. The user is seated in front of a half-silvered mirror and places his or her hands under the mirror the computer-generated graphics are displayed in the same space simultaneously. This allows the user to see the computer-generated images and his or her hands in the same visual space so that he or she can focus on both. A haptic component, a sensible phantom, which allows the user to touch virtual objects is also part of the system. A haptic robot with a pen-like device mounted at the end is in Dr. Johnson's right hand. It is what allows the user to touch the virtual image. In this case, it does not allow the user to penetrate the skull, but it can be programmed to feel like different substances, including soft objects. Haptics make the user feel that objects really exist and assist in creating a compelling illusion and workspace. A three-dimensional tracked mouse with three buttons is in Dr. Johnson's left hand. It allows him to switch modes in Paris. For example, he can switch from drawing to rotating to translating, which allows movement of the image, and to access data. On screen, it is represented by a skeleton hand. Users wear LCD shutter glasses which allow them to see the image in stereoscopic three dimensions. The glasses have position and orientation trackers. This allows the computer to know where the user's eyes are so it can redraw the graphics appropriately. The Electronic Visualization Laboratory has developed several medical applications over the past years. The one you are seeing is the cranial implant model. The cranial implant model helps medical sculptors sculpt an implant for the repair of a defect for a specific patient. In this application, the drawing feature assists the sculptor in bolt placement and mounting the prosthesis. The reference material displayed around the virtual skull are the patient's actual CT scans. These CT scans are used to generate the model. A large surface area of the Paris screen real estate is for the display of reference material, which can be modified for each different task.